For the first example question uh, for this uh, electrochemical cells, uh, consider a silver aluminum system. Locate uh, on the table of half reactions of reduction potentials uh, both the silver and aluminum, uh, the appropriate silver and aluminum reactions. Predict the two spontaneous half reactions. Uh, give the cor correct E naught value, uh, the cell voltage for the overall cell, and then balance the two half reactions to give the overall reaction. Uh, pause it now, and uh, then check your answer uh, by unpausing it in a moment. Okay, predict the two spontaneous half reactions. I have a portion of the table here. Uh, we have a silver aluminum system. So here is the silver reaction, and the aluminum reaction is down here. Uh, remember our sort of uh, trick for determining the spontaneous reactions is that they have to go reading from left to right downhill. So our reactants are going to be silver and aluminum. That means the silver reaction will be in the forward direction. So it will be our reduction and our aluminum reaction will be in the reverse direction and it will be our oxidation. So our reduction uh, voltage of the cell balance overall, our reduction we said is our silver reaction. Oop. Started writing that off incorrectly. And our oxidation with aluminum writing the reversed reaction from the table. Uh, we want the voltage of the cell and we also want to balance the overall reaction. Uh, in terms of balancing, we have three electrons on this side and only one here, so we need to cancel our electrons. So, multiply everything in the silver reaction by three. So if we have three silvers, three electrons, and three silver solids, now the electrons on either side cancel, and we can just add the reaction together. Three silver plus one plus aluminum solid goes to three silver solid plus aluminum plus three. That's our overall reaction. Now what will be the overall cell voltage? For the reduction, we determine that the cell voltage was plus 0.8. And for our oxidation with aluminum, it is minus 1.66. Uh, notice as well in balancing with three electrons, we did not change the cell voltage. A common mistake of students is to, uh, they because we've tripled the reaction, that we are going to triple the voltage. Uh, the amount of potential energy out of the reaction is not going to change just because the reaction is happening. Um, more often, we are doing this balancing in order to cancel the electrons to show the overall reaction. It does not change the cell voltage. Now, to go back to our earlier formula, E naught of the cell is a reduction minus the oxidation. So plus 0 0.80 volts minus negative 1.66 volts convert to a positive, which equals 2.46 volts uh, for the overall cell. And that's how to do the first example question. Uh, the next question, uh, the answer to which will be posted on the video, on the next video, is diagram fully a nickel-magnesium system. 
label all the parts such as the electrodes uh, uh, the electrodes the cathode and the anode the electrolytes so we want what's in the salt bridge what's in the anode side the cathode side diagram the flow of the electrons give the overall anode of the cell give each half reaction for each side and let me know which electrode is increasing and which is decreasing in mass okay that was an overview of today's lecture on may 22nd for chemistry 12.